Hello everyone and welcome to Street Wait oh sorry. What is it called? Street Date Tuesday here at Givens Books. We're so glad you stopped by again this week. Um, a slightly more manageable pile of new releases this week, so let's see how we do. Uh, the Sweet Magnolias Cookbook is at the top of my stack today. Uh, the Netflix series, popular Netflix series, has just released um, a book of Southern comfort food recipes. Yum. Maybe this will get us through the last vestiges of winter weather and we'll be all set for summer. Um, okay, on a more serious note, we have two uh, really interesting looking um, uh, nonfiction books to talk to you about today. Uh, Madhouse at the End of the Earth. This is about an Arctic exploration, not Shackleton's. This is one I've not heard of before, but it looks like a very exciting read. And then The Agitators, Three Friends Who Fought for Abolition and Women's Rights, an important topic for us to be learning about these days. Okay, sports. Ian O'Connor has um, just written and released Coach K, uh, a definitive first look. Apparently he's not had a biography published um, before with this kind of access. So uh, all of you Tar Heel fans, take a look. Okay, and Stacey Abrams and Laura Hodgson have teamed up to write this book, Level Up. This book is a guide for female entrepreneurs. Um, the blurbs on the back, the recommendations, um, make this a stand out must read for any young women out there considering entrepreneurial life. Jenny Allen's new book, Find Your People. Oh, you guys, this is an important one for all of us right now as everyone's coming out of a pandemic and feeling a little bit at loose ends. How, building deep community in a lonely world. Doesn't that sound like something we all need right now? Okay, and we have paperback fiction. Got some fun historical fiction, The Irishman's Daughter, set in the Irish potato famine. The Kitchen Front, um, The Women Left Behind at Home in World War II. And Murder at... Wedgefield Manor, uh, Downton Abbey meets Jane Austen meets Agatha Christie. And The Lost Apothecary is now out in paperback, y'all. If you didn't get a chance to read it in hardcover, I highly recommend. This was one of my favorite reads this year. Um, it is just the right amount of slightly spooky, a little bit dusty and grimy, uh, historic fiction, detective, a mix of a bunch of different things, but lots of fun. Okay, and here we go. For the rest of our um, paperback fiction, we've got a, a beach read, a hint that better times are ahead. Uh, Robin Carr's now out in paperback, Sunrise on Half Moon Bay. John Grisham's Suli is now out in um, mass market fiction. Daniel Silva's The Cellist, now out in paperback. And Girl in the Walls. Ooh, you guys, it might be a ghost story or it might not. You gotta read it and find out. And together we will go uh, a Thelma and Louise style story of adventure. Maybe Thelma and Louise crossed with planes, trains, and automobiles, although probably not that goofy. And then Home is Not a Country by Safia El Hilo. Uh, what's in a name? A young woman grapples with what might have been um, as she explores the possibilities of her mother's name for her. Okay, last stack, hardcover new fiction. Julie Atsuka, The Swimmers, her new novel is out in paperback. I love these size books. They are so fun to give as gifts. Um, but also this one sounds really cool. Um, a swimming pool, a dying swimming pool brings together some really unlikely characters uh, in this story. Wildcat by Amelia Morris. Um, this is a fiction debut from a woman who's um, quite well known for her journalism and her uh, essays. Uh, and in this story, uh, we're talking about a, a new mother's experience. Um, and those kinds of stories always really fascinate me. Okay, and the rest of the stack, y'all, is thrillers. So it's a big week for thrillers. We have got getting out of a cult thriller. We've got Cold War spy thriller. We've got Nordic detective noir thriller. And we've got Lucy Foley's new book and her thrillers are just in a whole category all by themselves. Um, I absolutely loved the guest list and uh, this one looks just as promising. So come check it out. <sighs> okay, Givens faithful followers, I have a confession to make. Mea culpa. 
I will be honest with you, I have not heard of Coach K until this day, and I mixed up the team that he coaches for. My sincerest apologies to both Duke and Tar Heel fans. The Honorable Coach K belongs to the Duke family, not the Tar Heel family. Obviously, I know a little bit more about books than I know about sports. See you guys next week.